Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, thanks for joining us in the final segment of the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., for seven years now, sharing with you such great information with great people, great people from your community, great professionals. And today we have a really good friend, one of the most dynamic young men in all of Santa Clarita that does not just real estate. He's banging in real estate, but he's also gives back in so many ways as the president of the Circle of Hope. He's got a bookstore. Um, explain the bookstore real quick. So basically we're an off-campus textbook store for College of the Canyon students and our main thing is we guarantee to be cheaper than the on-campus one. Um, I was a struggling college student at one time after um, well I was rehabbing my leg actually from a motocross accident when I was mm -hmm. a pro <laughs> but um, I know what that's like to, to put yourself through school and, and school's important so we decided to open up this bookstore to help you know students out and do things like that you know our prices are very, very how do they good. get a hold of what what school how do they get a hold of you for um, that? just go ahead and look us up the book exchange um, and it's a very simple name and we're right down the street off a of tournament road from the college we're half a mile from doorstep to parking lot so Easy. we're right there all right the book exchange yep. very cool all right so i did want to talk to you about <laughs> how you pay the bills <laughs> called real estate i of mean course. and and you're you're diving what i really like is we want to <clears throat> get into is when we bring real estate professionals a lot of the top real estate professionals focus a lot and they've earned it i don't want to go around but they do listings that's how because then they don't have to drive people around and they just basically market and promote a house and sell the house mm -hmm. and go to the next one so they've earned it they've become at that level your dad was at that level yeah. um, and again we're sitting here with taylor kellstrom um but you work with first-time home buyers, and we love that because so few do, and they need hand-holding with someone who really appreciates where they're coming from and can help them through it. And I know us here at Skyline love working with first-time home buyers because most are confused. They don't get the right information. They don't get of their course. options. They're forced into programs they don't know. They don't know all the programs that are available, no. like grant programs or uh, MCC credits, which are tax credits right. and so forth, to help them. And it's great that you work with first-time home buyers. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things. I was one of them <clears throat> not too long ago. You know, at 21, I was able to buy my first first house, and um, it's very scary. You know, it's a very scary thing, and being able to to get them in the car and drive them and and just teach them, you know, kind of the the process of it all, because it's completely new to a lot of people, and it's a scary moment. You know, it's the it's the biggest purchase they're ever going to make in their life, and just to be able to to relate to them, especially I think with my age, actually helps. Um, somebody more around my age buying for the first time. It's more oh, point. a little bit more relatable. It makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. But two, one of the, the cool things about it is I explained to them too, their offer is actually a lot more likely to get accepted than somebody who's selling a house to go buy another one because it's not contingent on the other house selling. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially like things can definitely always go wrong in escrow and things like that um, when you're trying to sell a house to go buy another one. But with a first-time home buyer, you don't have that real issue as far as that. And they're super excited for to buy a house. That it just it it's very it's a warm feeling. I know it's a stressful job, of course, but there's a lot of good that come from it. And it's really neat when you you get them the house and you close the deal and you give them the keys. There's there's no greater feeling than seeing that smile on their face. First like, home, we sure. did you know we did this yeah. you know and especially I've helped clients you know they they have. They just got married and have a, just had a baby, and they're so excited. This is where the baby's room's going to be. Thank you so much for making this happen. And yeah, there may not be as much money to, as a, compared to having you know a higher listing as far as in the six hundred thousands and things like that. But in the long run, it, it goes a long way. You build a relationship, mm -hmm. and based on the things that I do in the community with Circle Hope, I I like people and I believe in people. I trust in people, and when when you're working with a first time home buyer. You're trusting one another that, you know, they, they've never done this before. They're trusting in me and I'm trusting in them as well, you know, to, to get this deal done and all that. So it's something I really, I really enjoy doing, actually. You know, what's interesting, too, is that as your career furthers, all these first-time home buyers will at some point need to sell their homes. Exactly. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's <laughs> yeah. a matter of, Building you know, your own future business. Well, yeah, if you do it right, who cares? Exactly. Yeah, if you do the right thing for the right people, you know, early in your career, those are the people that support you later in your career. Exactly. That's the bottom line. So... 
uh, you'll eventually have 22 other buyer's agents on your team. Exactly. And, <laughs> um, but the reality is that you have to, the first time home buyer, I remember my first house I bought when I was 22. Yeah, scary, right? Very scary. Um, and difficult, right? Uh, you have no clue what you're doing. No. Uh, I always talk to people, the more homes you buy, the easier it gets, right? Like, you know, Don Getling just gets a phone call from me saying, you just bought one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write me a check. <laughs> it's true. Trans- easy transfer you, huh? the money here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you um, love that stuff. Man. I do. For me, it's easy now, right? So yeah. it's just a matter of, it's like anything, practice. Right? Exactly. The more homes you buy or the more homes you've been, transactions you've been involved in, the easier it becomes because you take all the uh, fear away. You take exactly. the anxiety away. And you're away. building a relationship and yeah. relationships are super important in life. You can't be successful without having good relationships with people. That is the so. bottom line. All right. Before we close that, I want to make sure that all of you out there can get a hold of Taylor, Taylor Coast, yep. especially if you're thinking of buying, about buying your first home. Even if yep. you don't think you can, trust us. Please reach out to Taylor. Reach out to us because we can give you, a, worst case, a plan. Exactly. You'd be surprised how fast six months or a year comes up or even two years and you're buying your first home because you had a plan. You didn't think you – remember, I guarantee you don't like renting. Guarantee it. Yeah. Nobody likes renting. So how do they get a hold of you, Taylor? Um, you can go to my website, taylorkelstrom.com. Um, all the different things that I do between the bookstore and real estate, there's different links that will take you to the specific pages. Or you can give me a call, 661-714-8915. That's actually my cell phone, and I'm always available. I think that's really important. And don't forget that not only if you need a house, but also if you want to get involved with Circle of Hope. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for giving back so much. Nicely done. Thank the community for for really being behind the organization. They're they're the ones that really make the difference. All right. So if you want to work with a a dynamic young man that really cares, especially if you're a first-time home buyer, reach out to Taylor Kelstrom again. How they get hold of you? 661-714-8915 or check out my website taylorkelstrom.com all right thanks for joining us buddy thank you guys can't wait to go moto with you soon absolutely (laughs) all right thanks for being part of our show have a great saturday and find out more by going to donandgino.com